Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna start this thing off right with a little bit of advertisements, okay? Because I told myself if I don't advertise, who will, okay? So I'm moving on to new things that I make now. This is a gift box. If you want to buy one of these, fine, I can make a couple. I need to make a couple of these with no candles, but I make candles for these. I call these my gift box candles, okay? So when you take the lid off, there's a candle in there. Cash medallions in there, it smells so good. It's the flavor I created. It's a flavor I created and it smells really good. It's made with honey, almond, coconut, and vanilla. And it just uh, gives you a really good smell. But I also make them in a jar. Because you don't want to pay $15 for that thing. Because I understand. But I make the box and the candle. So that's just what it is. But just in case you don't want to spend that much on the candle and its box, we have these puppies. Three ounce puppies. You know? Well, I have these in cash medallion and I have them in vanity vanilla and I'm still working on creating new flavors and I also work on these jury sets I call these mini jury tray organizers and they you put you know that rings goes you sit your rings on here you could put bracelets or whatever hang some earrings on here or a necklace whatever have a little stuff sitting up in here and it comes with a lid and of course, this lid comes with the seashell, but I have to replace that. Maybe that's the seashell, ain't that cute? Anyways, this is not online yet. This is just me showing a little bit of my talent, okay? Now, I will show you one that I do have online. If my things are not a finished product and I don't feel like that they can sell, would be this has the little container you pick it up with the seashell. This is also a jewelry container organizer, okay? But instead of the crown it comes with that now preferably me this comes is how it came but i started changing this to the crown because i feel like it could fit more jewelry and the rings could sit on the outside so going forward i probably won't have these on there i might make some with them like that but that is a finished one that is online that is for sale for twenty dollars that is online you can't find that okay this one is not online yet I probably didn't bring the little seashell, but it's got a big yellow and purple seashell like this, and it has to be placed on this top. And until it does, I cannot post it, which I work tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday. When I get back to work, I do not work weekends because I try to dedicate weekends to my tarot now. So, but you can put your earrings on here. You can do whatever you want to do with that, and in there, that's the jewelry box. Okay, so that's that. That's what I'm doing now. That's my new creations for my site. Uh, along with the rolling tray sets. Still do those if people request them. But I also got some posted online. If you see one you like, just buy it. Excuse me. My ice is melting. And the cranberry grape juice ain't tasting that good. Mm. Excuse me. I also do jury. Earrings, necklaces, beaded, bracelets, whatever. Shocker earrings. Just let's check out the link down in the description box if you want to check out anything I do. Excuse me. Aquarius. Hello, and welcome back. Oh, y'all, I gotta write this stuff down in a minute. My pen done fell over there. No more. Let me turn this fan off. It's probably loud anyway. This little video thing making all that noise. Anyway, so today we're going to be using the Cosmic Tarot along with the regular right away and Psychic Tarot Oracle. I'm going to pull one of those. Okay, so we have go pull your Oracle card out. We're gonna do your pre-meditative shift. We're gonna do your read. 
be back for this week. Here we go. Which one do we have for the quiz this week? October 2020. Transformation. Okay, we going through a transformation. The transformation period in which a lot of things in your life could be ending. Ridding. See you next time. Next lifetime. I guess somebody's getting their wings here. Turning from a caterpillar to a butterfly. That's a beautiful transformation right there. So we got transformation. Okay. Messages. Invitation check for free. Who would might be doing that with them? At this time. Sleep, sleeping on me? I heard sleeping on me. Or sleeping on me. Sleeping on me. Somebody could be sleeping on somebody. And I don't mean, when I mean sleeping on them, I mean underestimating. Somebody's underestimating you or you're underestimating somebody. The ability. Somebody underestimating abilities around this bitch. That's what's happening. Somebody underestimating, underestimating the ability. Somebody's ability to be in a long-term commitment. Because of what they've been through with them. Think about the past, looking back on the past, and reassessing the past, and, and bam, <laughs> sleeping on them. You don't, somebody don't think they're capable. Somebody don't think they're capable. Like they do want the face of cups and this ten of cups with them. Could be you wanting it with somebody else, but you don't think they're capable. And somebody wanting it with you, but they don't think you're capable. But transformation. Somebody is capable because they got wings now, they grew their wings. Somebody's definitely capable. After this transformation, they damn well capable. So let's see. Somebody sleeping on somebody. All right. Sleeping on somebody. Is that what I'm doing? Is that what I'm doing? Oh, okay. <laughs> Somebody's self-deceiving too because you sleeping on a person. They whoever's sleeping is self-deceiving because they know. They know what the fuck going on. With the star color in this alum, they know that this could be a higher level of commitment. They know that this is a really spiritual connection. Something they know this is the deepness of the connection to get these two cards together. Major Arcana. Okay, selling the way to common waters with the higher upon enlightenment. Okay. This is healing. Headed you, headed. This is you headed look. You're healing, heading you to a higher level of commitment. Boom. You self deceiving yourself. You might be trying to resist it just a little bit. Somebody's deceiving, self deceiving, I feel, because I don't feel like a really big deception. I feel like that this is like, oh, you don't think I'm capable, so I'm upset. I'm deceived, you know, type of thing. But I don't feel like, oh, you're a liar, a cheater, and a deceiver, and a heartbreaker. You're a deceiver. You know, I don't feel that kind of deception. Yeah, of course. Somebody getting slept on. So let's see if somebody hit snooze. Somebody gonna get turn the alarm a little louder because you need to wake up and see what the fuck going on around here. Okay, you sleeping on the wrong one. That's what I'm saying. You know, I'm just saying. That's what we got? Four quarters. So let's just. They ain't got nothing on you. These hoes ain't got nothing on you. Some Gucci man came out. I think that she just. She think I'm with another woman. <laughs> I think it's paranoia. 
I respect that girl. You your daddy's little girl, but you a grown lady. And he don't see you like I see you because we not related. These hoes ain't got nothing on you. Ooh, somebody thinking that you, somebody thinks that you all that in they book. And they ain't got nothing on you. Wish fulfillment. You the best of the best, baby. They ain't got nothing on you. These hoes ain't got nothing on you. <laughs> I'm just saying, they don't see nobody better, is what they're saying. I think they should just bear annoyer. You may be tripping on them, or somebody may be tripping on somebody. Thinking, oh, you always trying to do this and trying to do that. And he like, baby, these old ain't got nothing on you. That's the sun card. That's the happiest card in the deck, because they ain't got nothing on you, because that's how you make that person feel. Or whatever the situation, I'm just rolling with it right now. With my intuition, everything, what I'm getting, we about to make it make sense. But some fast communication is gonna be coming out about how these homes ain't got nothing. I'm sorry, I'm good for y'all. I ain't gonna no get no, no, no. <laughs> Is Mercury retrograde still here? And plus, I'm high. I don't know. Let's get on into this. What else we got for Aquarius? Two more cards. One more card. <laughs> Because these old ain't got nothing on you. That's what you manifested, right? You wanted somebody that don't want to see nobody neighbor. you, do you. And now he all in your face like these hoes ain't got nothing on you. And you all like. <laughs> Hitting snooze and sleeping on people. Snoozing and shit. Time to wake up. You ain't going up. You have to snooze it. Time to wake on up. I don't know. I think we keep that victorious card because that's the only one. But we did have uh, the page of pentacles and the six of pentacles. But I'm not going to keep the other because it's more. But then that makes me to be the one to pick out which came out. Up oh, there we go. Six of six of swords. I ain't got to pick now. Shuffle it up and put it back. And now we know. Oh, the empress and the four swords is here. Hmm. This is a spread, I think. Okay, so we have the nine cups, the four of wands, the sun card, and the eight of wands so somebody is getting a wish fulfillment it looks like a something very stable and something very happy and some communication comes out about this new beginning and then we got i don't know somebody either retreating let's see let's see what this four swords is once we clarify it we got the magician here and selling away the common waters but we got the four and the six of swords i heard together that means Maybe an ending took place previously, or it will be. So let's let's clarify. Let's see about this nine of wands right here. I mean, this nine of cups. Why is this nine of cups here for Aquarius? Nine of cups. 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 Something fell. Nine of Cups, Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles fail. Nice. Why is this Nine of Cups here? Four Aquarius. Nine of Cups, Nine of Cups. Why is that here? Four Aquarius. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Three cards just flipped in there. Six of Swords on the bottom. Six of Swords is already out here. Selling this thing away to calm the waters. Uh oh, what's this? What's this? Four Wines came out with that too. Yeah, this isn't about wish fulfillment. This card is nine of cups. Well, we're leaving the nine of cups to go to the eight of cups. So why? Because of overindulging. Overindulging. That's why. Somebody's trying to sell in the common waters here because of older and overindulging. Overindulging. Overindulging with their emotions. That's why. 
This was an overly giving situation with the nine. The nine of cups can also be an overindulger. Okay, and I feel like now this whoever this person, this overindulger is, they wasn't necessarily overindulging. They was just over emoging. <laughs> Putting in too much, giving too much emotion to the situation and not getting enough back. Okay, so it make them feel a little depleted. So now, because they deal with somebody that holds back, you know. So they still want the stability, but they didn't walk away. It looks like walking away from overindulging. So they're going to be holding themselves back a little bit. Yeah, they want the stability, but they can't be overgiven to the situation. What is this for? Wands? Four of Wands. Why are they here? For Aquarius. You, you, cause you, want, you might be overcompensated for both of y'all. But that's over. We're giving a lot because... Somebody wasn't given enough, but I'm put those back. I think that's too many. I just need one more. Four to four wands. One more. One more card. Four wands. Yeah. Okay. Oh man. Now I know y'all can't see this, but when I just looked at this card, he went. They were. They was looking at each other. Okay. He wanted to give her a kiss, but she turned her head. So that's how he's kissing her on the cheek instead of the face. Because she turned her head. She think about something else. To the cups. He think about maybe sex. I don't know. They want to stop this. This four of pentacles. This four of Four of wands that came out twice. Okay. Oh. Somebody's, somebody wants more than. You know what I mean? My kids are running. So, but they want more than that. They want love. Okay. That's what this is telling me. They want love. They want more than just that part. So, they want stability. They want commitment. They want to be happy. They want a contract, a commitment. But instead, they're being disappointed. Because it looks like they're going to, something's getting left out in the cold and heartbreak. I don't know. I just feel like a big missing... Somebody wanted something that wasn't there. And it, it don't have to be love. But they want stability and a commitment. And maybe the other person just wasn't ready to give that. You know what I mean? They love you and then you make them happy. And they see you as a wish fulfillment too. But they was just not ready to give. And that's why you was overgiving. But you're not overgiving no more. In fact, you might be undergiving. Because this person might love you. You know what I mean? But it's disappointing to you. What's happening in this connection. So... You know, it hurts your feelings and you're going to leave it out in the cold. It not hurts your feelings. It breaks your heart. Okay. It breaks your heart. So you're going to drop those burdens of some, whatever breaks your heart. You're leaving it out in the cold. And I think that's the turning point right there. That's when a motherfucker decides, hey, I got to. Ah, that's when they see. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. That's when the disappointment comes out, though, when you decide, I don't know. I don't. Four of wands. Six of wands. Six of cups. I don't want what the past had to offer. I don't want whatever we was doing in the past. I don't want that. I don't want what I've had in the past. I want something stable. I want something heavy. I want I can build upon. I want something I can commit to, invest in. I want a commitment, okay? I don't want to be disappointed like I was in the past. I don't want to have anything that I had in the past. Okay? Five of Cups. I don't want to be crying over spring no more. And I have been. I don't want to do that no more. I'm going to be happy. Sun card. Why is the sun card here? Sun card here for Aquarius. Because you're assessing now. You're reassessing it. You stayed unhappy for this person too long in this situation. Not because they make you happy, but because they don't want to give up that commitment. Okay? Because they don't want to use that experience. They use letting experience not let them do anything. Okay? They're not going into solitude, not listening to their intuition, not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. So you're assessing and you're reassessing and you're going to communicate. There's scary to be a new beginning happening. And I don't know. You might have to be 
and leaving somebody behind doing that. So you can manifest something you really want while you're selling away the karma waters. So we'll see. Eight of Wands. Why is that here? Five players. Eight of Wands. Why is that here? Four players. Eight of Wands. And this is you transforming. Because you might have settled for this and you might have accepted this for a while now, but you're just not doing it anymore. Because you've transformed. You've got your wings. You're a butterfly now. Okay. One more on this Eight of Wands. Because this just lets you, the Empress reverse this came out where you got the Empress up, upright right here. One more. If I don't know what that means. Hold on. I'm going to get into it. I'm going to need one more card to finish the story. One more on this communication. Eight of Wands, why is that here? Okay. Mm -hmm. Eight of Pentacles on the bottom. Communication is being made about a judgment. Your sis communication is going out about a judgment. They're saying, look, I'm standing now, my truth. I know what I deserve. I'm going to get what I want. I'm going to have this new beginning with or without you. Okay? So this person, you're prepared to leave this person behind so you can have this new beginning. What you want, what makes you happy. And I don't think that person wants that. That person don't want a good bit left behind in the beginning. But that's your decision. Judgment is your decision that you're making to communicate. Look, I'm going. I want this, and I want to have it with you. But if I can't, I will cut you out and move forward to a new beginning where you don't exist. And I don't think you know that person didn't like that. I don't know. Empress, why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress reverse here? First, let's see why did they give us the Empress reverse? Two of swords because this person's confused and they don't know what they want to do. But you know exactly what you want. Why is the Empress here in the upright? It was inevitable. It just had to get out there. Then it's the Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Empress? Five of Pentacles. You done left this person out in the cold to go get your new beginning. Let's work on your stability. Work on something. Oh, yep, that's what you're doing. You're taking this leap without this person. You're realizing that you don't, you are everything you need. You don't need to wait on nobody to give you what you deserve. Because you can go out here and get it from anybody. So you done revoked your cup from a motherfucker. They ain't got it like they used to. Because you done took a leap of faith on loving yourself having your new beginning without this person because you don't need them to get what you want. You can get it all by yourself. So you retreat. You retreat and you head back to the drawing board to manifest what you want but all the while getting the fuck away from this person because you, you love them but it's just it's too much. It's too fucking much man. It's too fucking much. Two cards that fell out before I got the shuffle because I was going to ask some um, I'm keeping them. Fuck it. Four. We know he's about to ask about the four swords. One more. Yep. This is this is this person feeling like you you leaving, and this is a missed opportunity, and that just settled in so much for them. Ace of Swords was it was all the clarity they needed when you walked away, when you retreated to bring out the emperor in their ass. Yeah, here comes the emperor. Not about to let the emperor have no new beginning without him. Huh? Where? Please, I'm the motherfucking emperor. I'm coming in for my reciprocity. My equal give and take. This way of being, he's coming out that. He coming. Let's get this. Let's get the one on this Prince of Swords. I don't like it. And this Prince of Cups reverse. Once the Cups reverse, let's talk about him. Let's give us one on that. Clarify that. Let's put that Cups in the reverse. I feel like this person about to grow up. Um, yeah. He's not about to be immature no more. And emotion, this is his new perception, his new way of going. Magician. And you manifest this for yourself. By choosing you. By choosing you matter. Standing up for yourself will. The magician. The magician.
the magician. One more on the magician. Cold turkey. Cold turkey. One more magician. It took you to go cold turkey. On this motherfucker for them to see they want this. You stop investing time, energy, communication, nothing. You didn't speak, you didn't talk, nothing. Cut it off. Cold turkey. That's why I was hearing cold turkey. It took you a lot of strength, too. But you sat there and you seen the potential. Or whatever you seen, but you shut up. You crossed your arms, you sat lying, saying a motherfucking thing. I'm getting the fuck out of here and ain't nothing need to be said because my decision is made. I'm going to have this beginning with or without you. And then he come in. Who ya? The emperor. You ain't going no more without me. <laughs> Six of swords. The emperor does not let. The, he's not about to let the emperor leave him behind. He's not. So, even though that doesn't let us know that here, I'm telling you, a real emperor ain't letting his lady go nowhere without him. He's not about to get left behind behind his by, by his emperor. He's just not going to do it. He's just not going to do it. Because you, as soon as you try to sell, boom, from a tower. What? Uh-uh. What? Uh-uh. You're not about to let him be in one door. He coming to take charge of that ass. The emperor's already out. So the next thing is the, the king of wands. He's the leader. He takes charge. He's coming to take charge. Because even though he's afraid, he's been through things. He's got the strength back here. He's coming. He's coming through there. He's going to come through there and he's going to do what he got to do to conquer with the empress. Because he don't want her being single. <laughs> That's how that go. That's how that go. So yeah, with that being said, Aquarius, this is what I got for you this week. I hope it does resonate with somebody out there. If it does in fact resonate, would you go ahead and like the video? And if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because the, the merrier. And I got a lot of good energy to pass out. Okay. So with that being said. Namaste. Namaste. Good luck with it.